All right. Let's do this. <laughs> Let's make sure. Okay, we're starting here. <clears throat> Looks good. All right. I've decided there aren't enough llamas on the internet. So why not look at some llamas? They're um, indigenous, of course, to South America. Them and alpacas. Alpacas are a lot cuter. But um, llamas are pretty awesome. And like I said, there just aren't enough on the internet. So why not? I noticed a uh, a lack of llama related live streams. So I was like, you know what? <laughs> why not? Everybody has their cat videos and even horses and gosh puppies and bunny rabbits and I just don't think llamas are very well represented although there does appear to be a lot of photos of them on Flickr aren't they just cute let's click on one <laughs> Because why not? That's funny. Llama, llama, llamas. This one here looks like he's smiling. Now, how is that not adorable? Totally adorable. These are uh, Flickr photos, so credit, of course, will go to uh, whoever captured these photos obviously not me because I do not have access to this huge bounty of llamas they make um, fantastic wool you can make like coats and stuff although they do like spitting yeah you ever been spit on by a llama <clears throat> That's kind of gross, man. They don't hold back. They they do not hold back. <laughs> you think you think for a second they're gonna let you pet you, pet them, or the next thing you know you get a uh, a face full of llama spit goo. Good times. Hmm. Let's see if there's anybody in the chat yet. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Had to check. All right. They're not bad looking creatures though. I mean, they're not ugly or nothing. You wanna say the, uh, I bet uh, the first person that ever ate like a, a wild turkey probably did it on a dare. You wanna talk about ugly, stinky creatures? These guys aren't ugly. Although you don't really hear much about people eating llamas. I guess that's not really much of a thing. Although I'm sure it happens. But uh, they're mainly farmed for their wool. Does they make a lot of wool? These are fuzzy, fuzzy creatures. Super fuzzy. They're kind of funny looking too. The first time I saw one, I had to do a double take. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's that, a small horse with a funny neck? Wait, no, no, what, that's not a cat. That's not a what on earth? Then I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> there was, uh, they're not there anymore, but I guess just a couple miles down the road, there was a fellow who had about, I want to say half a dozen of these. I don't know what for, but. Probably for wool. They do seem to come in a variety of colors. You got you got reddish ones, and brown, and black, and of course white and polka dotted. <laughs> Let's 
see if anybody's visiting yet. That's the wrong button, Dave. That's more llamas. Nobody. That's okay. I don't care if anybody shows up or not. You know what? I just like looking at llamas. That's what I decided I wanted to do today. And dang it, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Look at this fella. Right. <laughs> They are kind of funny looking. You you look at them and you just kind of want to laugh just because it's like it's nature's inside joke. Because they're funny looking creatures. Especially if you're not used to, I guess, having them around. <clears throat> Apparently they're part of the dromedary family. So they're like, uh, you know, a version of cold weather camels, I suppose. Yep, they sure are. Oh, goodness. I had to scratch at a flea. They're darn cats. My, my house is infested with fleas right now. I'm not too terribly pleased about that. Now, look at this guy. This is a fuzzy, fuzzy llama. Fuzzy. We'll call you Mr. Fuzzy. <laughs> Yep, there aren't enough llamas on the internet. I like to do random stuff that uh, I don't think anybody else has done. And I don't think anybody has ever done a llama live stream before. So it just kind of seemed like the right thing to do. I mean, look at this guy. L look at this. I mean, come on. <laughs> That's funny. They're like funny looking and cute at the same time. Of course, until they spit at you. That's always bad. Could do without the spitting. Oh, goodness. Anyway, I'm not really feeling tops today. I think I have like an ear infection or something. It's making me a little woozy. So, if I, uh, if I start rambling incoherently, that's why. <laughs> No one likes incoherent ramblings. Look at that. Sticks his head up so he can get a good look at you. Next thing you know, pata, you get spit in the face. They are spitting little creatures, aren't they? They're straight up herbivores, though. I mean, they're not going to try to bite you or nothing. Straight up herbivores. Hmm. The coloring on that almost looks like a deer, doesn't it? Huh. Interesting. Let's go see if anybody showed up. Go back. My internet's being slow. Hey, somebody's here. How you doing, MG Drilling? You having a nice day? <laughs> I'm just kind of uh, hanging out looking at llamas today because there aren't enough llamas on the internet. And because I'm a little strange and that's my way. This guy's looking like, how you doing? Hey, hey, how you doing? <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, goodness. I hope I'm not coming down with something. I know I have an ear infection, but I hope that doesn't lead into other things. It'll be fine. What could possibly go wrong? You get all these pretty views of the, uh, I guess they'd be the Andes Mountains in the background. Because that's where they live. Up high in the mountains. That's a pretty nice shot. He's saying, hey, how you doing? I'm a llama. 
Oh, goodness. Just had to check. I like to check every now and then. See who decides to show up. I don't really expect a lot of people. Because, uh, you know, llamas aren't exactly the most popular subject. But, you know, I don't care. I do what I want. If I want to look at llamas for a couple hours on a Saturday morning, or afternoon now, well, that's what I'm going to do. Because I can. Do what makes you happy, you know what I'm saying? Look at this. Uh, that almost looks like a dude in a llama suit, right? Look at that. You're a you're, you're funny looking creature, mister. <laughs> Look at that. That's funny. The uh, internet seems to be a little slow today. It's taking a minute to go back and forth from the photos. I wonder why. Anyway, these are all on Flickr. I opened up a couple, uh, a couple different photo searching sites. You know, just so we can get the optimum amount of llama footage. Because when you're having a llama live stream, you want to make sure you have uh, a lot of llama material. <laughs> Look at this. This guy looks like he's smiling at the camera. <laughs> he does, doesn't he? That's just the way he's chewing on the grass, but kind of looks like he's smiling for the camera. Like he's got that little grin or something going on. Hanging out in the barn, being a llama. <laughs> I guess there's probably all kinds of different kinds, sort of like you got your your Dalmatian dog, and you got your Pyrenees dog, and you got your, you know, English Springer Spaniel dog. There's probably different kinds of llamas, too. You know, like your big fat hairy ones and your skinny hairy ones and your dumb looking hairy ones and the cute hairy ones. Of course, they're all hairy. You know, that's just part of being a llama, I guess. <laughs> oh, goodness. There are some awful pretty photos. They're really, uh, not unpleasant creatures to look at, you know. They're not, uh, they're not, uh, offensive, really. I was at a friend's farm months and months ago, and he had a couple hogs, and they were just ugly, stinky creatures. I was looking at them hogs, and I told them, I said, you know, it's amazing how creatures so ugly can be so delicious. And it's true, it seems like the uglier they are, the better they taste. Sort of like, you know, I mentioned wild turkey a little while ago. That's good stuff. But man, do they stink. And they're ugly. See, these animals are cute, which means they probably don't taste good. I don't know, maybe it's a natural defense. Maybe somebody could explain that to me. Let me go check the chat and see if somebody's explaining that to me. Nope, nobody's explaining it to me. And that's okay. This site has a lot of really interesting photos on it, though, doesn't it? I wonder if there's like a, a different, you know, domestic breed or if they're all just kind of wild breeds. They all look very different. There's some llamas that look different. I mean, you can still tell it's a llama, but load more results. Well, heck yeah. Who wouldn't want to see more llamas? I mean, come on. Some are like considerably hairier than others. They're pro I would imagine there are. I'd imagine there's tons of different breeds of them. I mean, they're not an endangered species. There's tons of them all over the place. 
They're not, uh, they're not rare in South America anyway. And they might be a little bit more rare in other places. Almost looks like one of those uh, funny looking emo birds, you know, with four legs. Huh. Here's a good one with the Andes in the background. Well, that's a pretty capture. You can tell the wind is blowing. He's kind of matted, though. He needs to be uh, he needs to be trimmed. I would imagine. Good looking with a wama. So I don't know, size comparison, they're like bigger than a dog, smaller than a horse. If you've never seen a llama. And uh, I don't really think they're particularly high maintenance either. They sit there and eat grass. The experience I've had is they're, they're really kind of indifferent to humans. They just don't care. Uh, but they'll spit on you. They have no problem spitting at people. Which is kind of a lame defense, but very effective if you don't want to be spat on. <laughs> but, uh, you. Oh, well, there's something cute and fuzzy. Oh, look at that. How cute and fuzzy is that? Pretty darn cute and fuzzy. Man. It's like I press the back button and the internet's like, okay, I'll go back. My internet is slow today. I know it's not the computer. I mean, gosh, this thing is like three weeks old. It's got to be the internet. The interwebs is slow today. Kind of a bummer. Look at this thing. Now that, that right there, that looks like a camel head, doesn't it? It sure does, without a hump. As I said before, I, I do believe they're in the same kind of dromedary family. You know. Wow, I totally clicked back and it's taking forever. Man, that's kind of bumming me out. I want my uh, internet to be as fast as I click. And I know it's not a computer. It can't be the computer. Stupid internet. <laughs> Let's see if anybody's joining me. Nope, it says there's somebody watching though, so I guess that's good. I mean, who wouldn't want to watch llamas? I mean, seriously. What, what else could you possibly want to look at on an early Saturday afternoon? You know what I'm saying? I mean, seriously. <laughs> this one looks like a deer, doesn't it? Look at that. That really does look like a deer. Huh. Interesting. Let's go on to view bug. I don't want to be on Flickr anymore. Now this is a polar bear. That is not a llama. And this is a crab. That is not a llama. So view view bug search engine is probably a little a little confused. A little confused, but um, you know, and there there you have a goat, which is also not a llama. <laughs> I think I think Viewbug's search engine is a little confused. <laughs> you got a got a picture of an eagle, which is a, a, a llama type eagle. Oh well, that's adorable. Look, you got a little kid and and an alpaca, or a llama. I don't know. 
it's almost like the same thing, I guess. Except uh, alpacas are a little smaller. They're also a lot cuter too. Uh, there's there's a, a, a naked lady llama, which doesn't make any sense at all how it came up in a llama search, but you know, who am I to judge? You got a uh, pretty hairy one inside of a cathedral. I don't know why that would come up in a llama search. Viewbug is usually good about uh, finding on topic photos, but. Um, you know, looks like they've kind of missed the mark on a few things. There's like a whole bunch of little llamas over there. I like this, um, the landscape, uh, the, the scenery though, you know, with the mountains in the background. You got, uh, really ancient ruins down there in South America that nobody ever talks about that people should talk about because they're awesome. <clears throat> yeah, they're not, uh, they, they can be cute. They have their moments, you know. They're not rough on the eyes, you know, like some animals. Like if I was making a possum live stream, for example. <laughs> That's a pretty waterfall. I have no idea where that is. That same waterfall has come up a bunch of times in this stream, so I'm assuming that uh, llamas live in that area. There's some old Inca ruins. I guess they're Inca. I, I don't know. That's pretty cool, though, don't you think? That's pretty neat. Love to explore a place like that one day. Oh, I like that effect. You got the... Uh, uh, black and white background colored in the llamas there's some white llamas with a little baby llama they sure are hairy I actually have a uh, I use it as a liner I actually have a llama wool jacket around here somewhere ooh you know what I could do a product review video on that nifty I just thought of that. I could totally do that. I got that in Ecuador when I uh, went on that mission trip a hundred years ago. Ecuador is just like, I don't want to put it this way, but I can't think of anything else. It's like the horror of mission trips. I mean, <laughs> everybody, everybody goes to Ecuador, you know, if you're on a mission trip and you want to go overseas. It's like, you know, um what 400 miles from the Miami airport and uh, it's not uh, not far lots of llamas down there I, uh, I took uh, a ton of pictures and um, I left uh, of course I didn't have digital cameras because it was like the mid 90s uh, and I had a bunch of disposable cameras well I left two disposable cameras on a rock and went and did something else came back and those disposable cameras were hot and I think the Sun baked them which is kind of a bummer the one sunny day you had up in the Andes mountains is, is the one day that I decided to put cameras on a rock you know full of pictures that I'll never get back you know that kind of thing that was a bummer but um, I don't know, the llama pictures seem to be of a better quality on this site. Of course, they're also mixed with some photos that don't have anything to do with llamas, so that's kind of you bug search engine for you. But, you know, they tried. What are you going to do? Let me uh, look for... I haven't looked at my uh, chat in a while, see if there's anybody... It's Marta Lorazeas. <laughs> How are you doing? Thanks for stopping by. I've decided to look at llamas today because it's Saturday, and why not? Uh, thanks for stopping by. It's nice to see you. Um, these aren't my pictures. Right now I'm looking at uh, 
Oh, it's uh, WKZZR Productions. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by, folks. I, I appreciate it. I just decided to look for llamas because uh, I like to find strange content that nobody else has done. And I don't think anybody in the history of YouTube has ever done a llama live stream before. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to do a llama live stream just because. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what this scantily clad lady here has to do with llamas, but um, I, I'm starting to think trusting the view, uh, the view bug uh, search engine probably isn't isn't working out. But I digress. Well, that's a pretty picture there. You got the mountain in the background, some old ruins. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. And you got some uh, indigenous people with their llamas. How adorable is that? Man, look at that big old fat one over there. Of course, I don't know if that llama's fat or, or if it's just because it's full of uh, wool. Could go either way. I don't know. But, um... But, yeah. Looking at the llamas. Oh, well, that one looks happy. I'm afraid to open too many windows because my internet is kind of slow today. And I know the computer can handle it. I just don't think my internet can handle it. <clears throat> There's a kid in a llama. Gee, your hair smells terrific. <laughs> That's funny. You got some uh, waterfalls. I don't know what a little Tibetan, Tibetan monk kid has to do with llamas, but you know, whatever. It's all good. There's like a field of llamas. Look at that. Neat. I wonder if there's any like llama footage I could find. Probably. I don't know. There's some pretty cool looking photos though. Very interesting. Oh, look at the baby llama. Look at that. And he's as a cute little llama until he spits at you. <laughs> right this uh, this page is starting to get jittery for some reason so I'm gonna I'm gonna scroll manually I had it on uh, kind of an auto scroll I don't know what these flowers have to do with llamas but they're lovely look at that you got like a sunset llama silhouette over here that's pretty neat Pretty neat. He's saying, hey, how you doing? I'm a llama. <laughs> I'm so easily amused. Okay, let me go look at chat and see how you guys are doing. Hi, hey guys. Looks like I'm back to one person again, which is all good. That one person is probably me. I, I don't know. But uh, it's all right. We're going to... Now we're on Google, so this this should be more of a accurate uh, search results, one would think, one would hope. But um, there's a lot of really pretty scenery in the backdrop of some of these photos, which is kind of an unexpected bonus of looking up llamas. I didn't... Uh, I didn't really count on that, but some of these photos look really cool. <laughs> look at that shaved one. <laughs> That's funny. There's a lot of alpacas thrown in there too, which is sort of like a llama, only a lot cuter. They're a little smaller. I like saying llama. <laughs> I think this might be the only llama live stream in the history of YouTube. Which makes it pretty awesome. I'm a I'm a trendsetter here, okay? That's that's what this is. I'm 
I'm raising the bar, setting a trend, okay, doing something new and different, which I think is just awesome. Because why not? I mean, who wouldn't want to look at llamas? And there's like a random guy in the llama feed. Look at that. There's just some guy smiling. Okay. That's funny. There's somebody, what was that, riding a llama over there? I don't know. There's some pretty cool pictures, though. I'm liking a lot of these uh, pictures with the scenery in the background, things like that. And, uh, different breeds of llamas. Those look like camels right there. I don't know. They might be. It's the same family. Llamas, camels, they're all related. I wonder if you could make, like, a llama camel baby. Hmm. I don't know. I'm sure it's been tried. Now, uh, <clears throat> you know, five or six pages down, Google results are starting to get a little creative. You're coming up with uh, different things. A lot of these pictures are kind of neat, though. I can dig it. Can you dig it? Show more results. Heck yeah. I want to look at more llamas. All right. Look at there's a great Pyrenees right next to a sheep. I don't know what that has to do with llamas either, but it's a pretty cool picture. <laughs> Interesting. Or some kind of burger over there. Wonder if that's a llama burger. I don't know. Google's starting to get creative. I don't know what a disc jockey is, how, how that has to do with llamas, or or a or a library over here, or or a bicycle. What does that have to do with llamas? I mean, come on, Google, work with me here. I typed in llama. That's what I want to see. <laughs> sometimes, uh, sometimes Google will just get a little creative and just comes up with random stuff. Some books on llamas. Oh, you know why the llama books came up? Because I actually searched for, I've searched for, okay, there's a gun. I've searched for guns recently. I've searched for books recently, kids books about pigs, not about llamas, so that's why they're coming up. Well, that's interesting. Huh. Anyway, I think we're running out of, uh, I think we're running out of llama pictures. It's very sad. We're starting to get into, uh, weird-looking animals and conspiracy llamas and... <laughs> So we're running out of photos, so I'm going to have to end the stream because we're looking at llamas and I'm running out. Um, so, I don't know. Anyway, I'll go ahead and end that here. I want to thank everybody for watching. I had fun with it, and that's all. Uh, that's what it's about. So, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you all on the flip side.